During those hard times, you do have voices in your head. You have voices telling you, okay, um, you're gonna fail. I never went bankrupt, but I did go back to the garage about three times, penniless. Well, when I first met Kurt, he was a tool maker, and we had round-the-clock shifts in our garage, and the secretary sat in our kitchen. For me, there really was no option. I mean, what am I gonna do, go back to work for somebody else? I sure didn't want to do that. Today we're showcasing a company, OtterBox, makes tough they've and They've experienced durable. tremendous growth, 740%. In my office, I've got a model of the Titanic. It's there to remind me that never get too cocky, never think that you can't fail, and you better have a lot of life rafts. I think that's reflected in where we're headed beyond the case. As I grew up, I grew up at the base of the Spanish Peaks in Southern Colorado on 40 acres. I always wanted to be a trapper, but I couldn't catch squat. We lived in a one-room schoolhouse, wood-burning stove, outhouse. I mean, we had an outhouse till I was a junior in high school. I would literally just stuff my pockets full of fish, you know, catching brookies with a chalk line. <laughs> and it was, it just was, uh, I think it really imprinted on my life, my love for the outdoors. Love of the cold, love of the seasons, and just uh, that, that was kind of the start of it. I started playing with the OtterBox in my garage and did the first box, just a small little box, held a credit card, a pack of cigarettes, you know, things that people didn't want to get wet. And uh, from there, the product line never left the outdoors. Our products are used in the outdoors all the time, and it's important that we get back to who we are and our roots and look at where can the brand go? What else can we do besides just phone cases? And I think the brands, they deserve that. It touches at the roots of our family. And for a lot of us, uh, that's, that's our passion. Our passion isn't just making cases, it's an outdoor lifestyle. drill down into uh, your faith and your beliefs, and when you look at wildlife, when you look at plants, when you look at mountains, you look at weather, and you just go, this is so much bigger than me. Each of us need that. You know, as we come back to our roots, we're gonna really blow it up in the outdoors. We're gonna really invest there. We're gonna really innovate there. So stay tuned, because there's a lot coming.